everyone and welcome on my channel. I am Ronelda Lutz. I'm a professional makeup artist. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So this video was highly requested by you. If you're here for the first time, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video. Today's video is very special for me because I'm gonna be creating my signature makeup look. This is my all-time favorite go-to look. I love doing this on clients. I love doing this on brides. I would change a few things when it comes to bridal makeup and also in today's video. My model for today is this beautiful Chinook. We became instant friends because we have the same obsession about skincare. With this look, I am going to teach you step by step. So have patience until the end, because all the information that I'm giving you is for free. So you might as well take advantage of it. So let's get into it. Today's video, I have my beautiful model Chinook. I am so excited. Thank you so much for coming Chinook. Thank you. In today's video, I've made an effort. I mean, look at her. You are going to see her in a second with no makeup and then you will understand. I want to give her the bombshell look. And every time I look on Instagram on brands like Charlotte Tilbury, for example, she's all about the bombshell, right? I see them only using models. And I get it, you know, but I wanted to see a normal person. Just not a Victoria's Secret model, but someone like Chinook to achieve a super sexy, glamorous look. I think I started with J-Lo. I wanted to call her a bombshell. I was obsessed with her looks. That's why I am a great fan from her makeup artist, Scott Barnes who I had the chance to meet him in London a few years ago. I let you decide that, but if you see the before and after, you will understand it, right? So the challenge for today's look is to take this and transform it on Chinook. I'm going to start as usual with a very quick cleansing of the skin using my favorite Bioderma micellar water. I love to use this because it's just an easy product. Besides, all the products in this video are not sponsored. Then I'm going to prep the skin using the Beauty Elixir from Kodali. You know, I love the spray. It just wakes you up and preps your skin for skincare. With a little massage, you want to have all the pampering in the world. I'm applying this water cream from Tatcha. This water splash moisturizer feels super lightweight and refreshing when you apply it on your skin. Oh my god, it's like applying water, but your skin will be nicely hydrated and prepped for the makeup. And then I use this Sheen Glow Rose Face Tint from Chantikai. It's a luminous gel cream that instantly blurs and perfect the complexion of a healthy looking glow. And I'm gonna apply this all over the face in a thin layer. It is gonna give the skin a fresh glow from within. It is so, so beautiful. Then I'm going to prep her lips with a lip mask from Tatcha. It's a very, very hydrating. With this Hydro Grip Primer from Milk Makeup, this primer is great if your foundation doesn't really last on you. Try this primer underneath. It's gonna be prolong your foundation. Today, first, I'm gonna start with a primer just to get something that's illuminating, that is gonna bring light forwards. So I take the Hollywood Flowers Filter from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade number three. This is a little bit more of a lighter illuminator. So I like to put it on the highest points of the face. Then I'm gonna take number five. This one is a little bit more of the warmer side. I'm gonna mix them together using my IT Cosmetic brush. With this puffing brush, 
I'm gonna puff that all into the skin, mixing the two together. It's gonna give the skin such a pretty glow. It's gonna look so good, so beautiful and glowy. It gives you a glow that actually stays even when you apply foundation on top. Instead of using contour after foundation, I am gonna use it before. And I will take this Tom Ford shading and illuminate and take a synthetic brush. I'm gonna do a little heavier contouring, but at the end it's gonna look very natural. It gives you a very sculpted look, as crazy as it sounds. This technique looks so much more natural than when you do the contour on top of your foundation. My top tip to even out dark circles and discolorations with just a color corrector. I start with a warm peachy corrector concealer from Beauty Pie and I apply it to the dark areas and the under eyes. What I am gonna do is bring a little bit of dimension. It will be a beautiful brightening effect. I will blend only out the edges. I kind of like the concealer to sit and to do its job. I'm gonna go back in with some more concealer for under the eyes and just along the edges with the beautiful Skin Radiance Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. First bringing the concealer down to the side of the nose to get rid of the redness in that sort of V-shape that brightens and lifts the face and I want to get around the corners of the mouth, on the bridge of the nose and on the center on the forehead. Then I'm taking my time and blending it out. Guys, this is my secret to brightening and to lift the face. So the bombshell look takes some time, I ain't gonna lie. Alright, next is foundation. I'm trying the foundation on her. As you can see on her forehead she is darker and her skin is definitely lighter in here. But she is much darker on her body so you want to do a mixture of everything basically. With a damp beauty blender I mix my two favorite foundations together. One is from NARS the light reflecting foundation and the other one is the foundation from Lisa Eldridge. I am going to apply the foundation wherever I did not apply the contour. Then I'm using the Rodial Banana Low Lighter. This is such a great product to brighten and use it as a highlighter. I apply it to the areas of the face to highlight and to define. I'm blending it out with the damp beauty blender. So really push it into the skin. I'm taking the small sponge because I feel like I'm more in control of it. And I really take my time and I love to puff it all into the skin. So the result will be very sculpted, also a very natural looking skin. I like to take a damp beauty blender and go over everything and take the excess off. And now I will take this Givenchy powder in number 3. I cannot recommend it this enough under the eyes. It's so gorgeous under the eyes. I will take it with a puff. And then I press the powder with a puff under the eyes. This is going to take the most beautiful effect. This look does not require a lot of powder. Because if you apply too much powder on this look, it's not a bombshell anymore. And now it's time to prep the eyes. I love this eyeshadow base from Natasha Denona. And it's in the number 01. And I use my cream shadow brush from my Kitsco Pro. And now I'm using probably my favorite eyeliner ever. This one is from NARS, the Mambo Pencil. I always like to start off with a brown, 
just so I can kind of map out her shape out. And I will take a tiny pencil brush and define that color out. And make the wings even sharper. And we keep it stretching out. I also love working with the refer brush number 03. I really, really take my time to blend everything out because this look has to look really flawless. I place the same product from NARS on the lower lash line. I cannot say anything more than relax, enjoy and educate yourself. I am going to be using, of course, Copper Charge from Charlotte Tilbury. What could be more bombshell than this? I have got a lot of questions for blue eyes. So if you have blue eyes, this palette is just coming from the gods. It's so beautiful. I cannot tell you, you have to trust me. This one for blue eyes looks incredible. The first color is the darkest matte one and apply this at the outer corner and then you do the inner corner but not the tear duct and then what's left on the brush you do it in between. Then I spread this beautiful copper color all over the mobile lid but mostly in the center. It's so beautiful, so nicely plumb. Then I take a little bit of more product and build it all up. And if you ever want to buy one brush, this one from Scott Barnes is amazing. With this product from Tom Ford, the Skin Illuminating Powder Duo, in the color Mood Light, number 01, I do back and forth motions and the movements start from the wrist and then to blend, you want to do these tiny little circles. Now I take the gold one and apply it right in the middle. I apply this eyeshadow with a rose and pen brush. Oh my god, you know what? The camera doesn't catch how beautiful this turns out. It's even prettier than I planned it. Taking a small brush, grabbing the lightest color in the palette. About having something lighter in the inner corner is a must for looks like any sexy look. And with that same small brush, I do the same thing on the lower lash line. Also with the eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Then with my finger I apply this beautiful luxe eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown in the color Moonstone and place it in the middle of her eyelid. So now it's time for a real sparkle. I do this with the Master Metal Eyeshadow Palette from Makeup by Mario. And I use the Manipulator Master Metal Drops and I mix them with the eyeshadow color that I want. With the brush from my Kitco Pro, I mix the drops with the color rose gold. And with another brush from my Kitco, my precise crease in number 1.20, I take some few drops from the palette 
and mix them with the color this time in gold. And I place it more on the teardrops from her eye. I think now we are moving on to the fun part of all the eyeshadows. Before I use any mascara, I use a beige cream pencil in the waterline. This one is from Shantikai. Okay, now it's time to take a deep breath in and out because it's time to do an eyeliner. I take the Natasha Denona Walk and Set Cream Eyeliner in Black. And I take my time to give Chinook a beautiful eyeliner. And I use the brush from Spectrum and in collaboration with Katie Jane. And again, I use a cream eyeliner, but this time in the color nude and place it on the inner corner of her eyes. And also a little bit on the waterline. I'm also a great fan from Danessa Mirix. So I'm going to use the light work volume in number four. And of course, I'm using the color Angels. Chinook has already great brows. She has a great shape, so I'm just gonna brush them up and fill in any gaps. So the first product that I'm using on my brows is from Refi. And then when it's a little bit drier, I just brush them up. Just always remember that your eyebrows are not twin sisters. They are sisters. They can be different. Then I take a fine brow pencil, this time in blonde, and I look when there are some gaps, I fill them in. And I love, love this Brow Ambition from Nabla. And I take the color in Ash Blonde. With this brow pen, you can make fine micro stroking and draw the finest lines to give your eyebrows the perfect dimension, the perfect eyebrows that you wanted. Now I'm taking Pro Lash Lift Mascara from Sweet Lashes. I mean, really, this is perfect. Really perfect. An amazing black, black mascara, but not over the top. I love blush. This is a dewy, chic and lip palette from Danessa Mirix. This is literally everything you need if you are a makeup artist. And if you want cream brushes, this is so, so beautiful. Now I'm using this blush and highlighter palette from Natasha Denona. And the name says it all. My Dream Chic Trio. And I use them all. First, I started with the cream blush. Then, use the glow cream base. And I do it all with a damped beauty blender. And I finished with the glow powder. It gives you that very nice face glow without being too much. Press that lightly into the skin so you don't want to move any makeup. 
I am going to use this beautiful blush slash highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. So now it's time for some bronzer. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this is the perfect shade for her. I personally love this bronzer. This is from By Terry. This is a brightening CC powder. And the color is Sunny Flesh. I want my model to look bronze. If glowy, warm, sun-kissed, takes it around the forehead, pushing it into the hairlines and flattering it out. So I love to apply some bronze for that beautiful, even skin tone. And I promise you, a lot of celebrities and people that you see on Instagram, they do these tricks. I want my model to look bronzy, glowy, warm, sun-kissed. I am feathering it out. It's gonna make you look like you just make love to a sun. I cannot express how much I love this. You would love it too. I honestly don't think anyone would not like this unless you love super matte bronzers. But this one from Chantikai, it's the Sun Beam Chic and Eye Shade. If you like something soft, luminous, but not glittery at all, you will love it. Using swiping motions on the higher cheekbones and the bridge of the nose. With this powder from Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and a brush from MAC, I will mix them all. And what this product is going to do is give you that very sexy bronzing look. It gives the skin a beautiful gold kissed by the sun makeup. You thought I was done, right? Far from being done, okay, this is a bombshell look, ladies. Meanwhile, let's do the lips. I use the lip liner Imperfect from Nude Envie. We are gonna overline her lips. I have been talking about this brand Nude Envie a lot. And I do want to help her brand because it's such a small brand that deserves more popularity and it is amazing. I mean, look at this. So if you're looking for any nude color, go to her site Nude Envie. This brand is made by my friend Isabel. She's from Los Angeles. She's an amazing person. Isabel is a woman in her late 40s, but she's still looking stunning. Then take a brush and make this contour less perfect. When you are doing this trick with a brush, it just looks more realistic that your lips are actually bigger than if you draw a super precise line. I always like to use a liquid lipstick that's comfortable on the lips, like this one from Dior. This is going to stay on all night long. It's also a wonderful lipstick for the brides. Now I'm taking this transfer proof lipstick from Dior. It's from the Rouge Dior Forever collection. And the number is 100. It's the forever nude look. This is a nude color that I can use on every client. And there's no bombshell if there is no gloss. I mean, lips have to be very, very glossy. Listen, I've been trying a lot of lip glosses, but there is nothing that compares with a nude envie. I mean, look at this. This has some special ingredients. So now it's time for that super glow body shimmer without being too much. I mean, serious? I love this so much. Look at her, Charlotte Tilbury. Just say, I will take all your money. That's what it says. Sorry for everyone who thinks that this look is effortless. But it is much more work than that. Okay? Sorry.
so I am going to be using the Iconic London Drops in the shade Original, just two drops. And I'm going to take that down to the bridge of the nose to lift it a little bit. Take a damp beauty blender and press that lightly into the skin. So you don't want to move any foundation around. So make sure you are pressing lightly. This highlight just to make the skin looks really healthy. And that's really what you are going to focus on. If you have breakouts or wrinkles in any of the areas, don't apply highlighter over it. This is very, very important because that is just going to make them stand out. Place it on the high points of the face. I love this Westman Atelier Vital Pressed Skincare Powder. I recommend the translucent one. This is a beautiful, really beautiful powder if you have a very dry skin. Then you will really love it. So guys, this is the final look. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I hope you guys liked it as well. Thank you, thank you so much, Chinook, for coming. Please don't forget to follow Chinook van Balen on her Instagram. I hope you enjoyed it and please let me know in the comments if you guys liked it. So please don't forget to give it a big thumb up and subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Makeup Date by Renelda. Love you all. Bye.